Hello and welcome to Clan TV for round three of the Brayhead Clan versus the Sheffield Steelers and the second night on the bounce where battle will take place here at the Brayhead Arena. And battle literally broke out after the buzzer last night, after period one. Several players involved in the fighting, but the upshot is the clan's Zach Fitzgerald will take a two-game suspension. He won't be lacing up tonight, a decision which has caused much controversy online. It's also a decision which has caused yet another problem for head coach Ryan Finnerty as he seeks to turn around a three-game losing streak against an undoubtedly strong Steelers team, a team that have beaten us already twice on the bounce. However, he'll be heartened by the fact that his men in black and purple have played pretty well when at full strength. However, he'll also not be surprised by the fact that this slump in form coincides with the fact that the previously ruthless clan power play seems to have totally disappeared recently. That will need to return if we have any chance of a victory here tonight. Add to that, it's also his birthday at 12 o'clock tonight. So, four game losing streak, he might be blowing out the candles on his own. However, a victory against one of the obvious favourites for the championship and well, it could be a party at Finner's house. Let's go ringside. Well, as we prepare for the pub joke, join me in the commentary box. It's Greg Anderson, good to have you with us. Thanks very much, Jerry. Good to be back. I believe you won nine. All hell breaks loose, apparently. A part two of this double header just underway. Yeah, I'm going to blame you for that one. I mean, it's one of those things here. We Two games beaten here by the Steelers, but this really is important. If we could pull this back, psychologically, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, psychologically, that's the, the very word here. Steelers um, seem to have a bit of an Indian sign over Clan in recent games. Now, that's now five games going back to last season that Clan have without a win against Sheffield Steelers. So there's a real big task ahead of them. Well, it just shows you the strength and depth the Sheffield Steelers have. The captain Phillips on now. Was the end goal? Hey, and Baldwin, the scorer from last night, pushing on. Clan returned to full strength. As the Steelers still apply the pressure, even strength now. He's got support here through the centre. Lovely check from the clan as they race on. Scott Pitt will chase. He won't get there, though. Kavanagh has to dig it out. Phillips taps it in. He finds Rosienko. Hey, back on a pass, and that is a well, well worked play from the Sheffield Steelers. They flew down the near side. Lovely deke in the centre. Backhanded pass, and hey, tucked it away high. Yeah, good move from the Steelers. That power play seemed to have given them a bit of a, the, their offensive edge back. They took their chance there. Darrell Hay with the finish here. Kyle Jones beaten. Stefan Meyer having to work really hard tonight. A heavy hit from Derek Will. Eddie! Eddie immediately grappling with Derek Will there. Just trying to say there, just as that Steelers chance was going in, Rail and Eddie, the two of them. Well, it's happening already the there. there the go. officials are attempting to keep it apart before it started, but I think they may be way too late. Derek Rail already has his helmet off. Colin Eddie certainly grabbed him. The players seem determined to let this one go. They want, well, they want it to go. The officials seem determined to stop it. Head coach Ryan Finney letting them know what he feels about it. And wah, having words as he skates away. It was Rail's hit on Colton Fretter that started all that over the far side. Well, oh, we saw it over the side earlier, didn't we? Chris yeah. Frank and Wah chatting there. And there was Ryan uh, Rail just to steal us for having that chance. The two of them niggling at each other. I think there's still more to come in the third period between those two in particular. Well, the Clan fans still disappointed at the penalties called there. Matt Keith at the face-off. Back to the point. Clan now, battling on this field, and yes! Retribution! Matthew Keith answers the call. Captain Keith to the rescue. That's the way to hit back. Jamie French setting up the captain. Matt Keith redirecting it past soil. At last, the door has been unlocked. Redhead Clan on level. And this fight is one apiece. My goodness, we're going to have a good third period ahead of us. Down now, out wide on the ice, checks back, he has support. Steelers have plenty of men over. Here comes the shot. Oh, and it was, well, it was almost too smart at the end. It does go in. Well, for a moment, it looked like the Steelers had just tried to be too clever, but he had another opportunity. And it was a really, yeah, another really well worked Steelers goal. Clan looking for the breakout now. Puck just holding up, there's a lot of moisture on the ice. 
of the clan zone. Puck comes in, shot. Kel Jones gets a foot to it. Stefan Meyer streaming through the center ice. Takes out right. Curves inside, looks to put it in. It's there! Wonderful clan goal! Wonderful work from Stefan Meyer. And the clan just willed it over the line. You can chase a goal made in Sheffield. Two former players combining. They clan a level once again. Stefan Meyer, great work kicking. From that inside right, played it across. Lee Enders, right in front of the crease. Just buried, well, not buried it, bundles it. Just beyond Doyle. And clan a level. 90 seconds into the third period. And it's two apiece. Colin Eddy, near side ice. To Lupe, it's, oh, an intercept there, heavy. Well, there's going to be a delayed penalty there. Certainly a high challenge to Matt Keith, sent him spinning, tumbling to the ice. Uh, Sorry, so he caught Keith in the head there. The referee had no hesitation in blowing for that and throwing his hand up in the air. Well, it was from behind and it was high, wasn't it? it certainly was. Interesting to see how the officials deal with this one or not. High from behind. Scott Pitt. Behind the line. Salters will pick that up. He has support from Jamie Fritch. He opts to play it back. Back at the point now. Kavanagh from range. Oh, redirect there. Looked dangerous. Took it away from the goal though. Into a dangerous zone. Oh, Trent. The power play is back. The power play is officially back. Neil Trent. What a finish by Neil Trent. Steals the great spot out for the quick movement of the puck. Trent was in the right place at the right time. He didn't need to think about it twice. He fired it past Doyle. And now the clan go three to a head. A power play goal. It's a huge marker for clan. Could this be the first win in six attempts over the Steelers? Well, clan. Just with nine seconds left of this two-man advantage, can they make it count? Six seconds as the puck goes behind the goal. Two Steelers men preparing to race out. Steelers now back to full strength. Still a chance for a shot from the clan. And it's here! Derek Rail! Railroads! Clan! Two goals into the lead. And it's clan four. Steelers two. That's the goal they want in the fourth goal. Steelers with two men down. Power play just coming to an end. Derek Rail may have just killed the game off for Sheffield Steelers. A fantastic finish from the forward. Frank Doyle beat once again. Steelers looking to carve out another opportunity. But it's the clan to come away with it. Scotty Pat now. Three on two. He's got support from Derek Rail. Will they go for the option? Oh, and nearly sneaked through. Well, an uncharacteristic mistake there from Frank Doyle. Nearly, nearly sort of beat that near nearly pipe. sneaked past him there, Scott Pitt, with the opportunity. I don't think Doyle knew what was going on. Doyle's been pulled in this final minute and 15 seconds. Well, yeah, Doyle is off the ice. Steelers throwing everything at it here now. Scotty Pitt with an opportunity. Can't take it. Can he get a shot on target? Yes, he can. Never ask that question again, because the answer is yes. Could it be, could it be happier for him? Well, if anybody questioned Greyhead Clan's credentials for the Elite League title this year, I think this performance, especially in this third period, has answered them back with a plum. Matt Hayward with icing on the cake with that finish. An empty net finish. Clan winning 5 2. Some of the other teams in this Elite League will now sit up and take notice. Greyhead Clan are in this title race. Well, with just 30 seconds left in this final period, it's Clan 5, Steelers 2, Steelers still pushing on. As the puck skittles over the blue line. Matalut passes the puck back into the centre. Clan still have a little bit of defending to do here. To see this out, Chris Frank, press out, Tristan Harper. Whoa, that's a misplaced puck here now. And there will be an extra goal here. Chris Frank with some afters as well. Taking an edge off the celebration. No real need for that really this stage with five seconds left. No need for it to escalate. That's a loop, seems desperate to have an altercation. Oh, 
Well, as the last puck is fired in, that will be the end, and that will signal a clan victory, but straight after, we have a more words straight after the final buzzer here. Right in the center of the ice. But as it dissipates, nothing can take the sheen off. What was a fantastic clan performance. Some phenomenal Steelers goals put them in the lead early in the first and second periods. The clan came back for a wonderful victory and a wonderful performance. Probably one of my favorites here at Brayhead Arena. Yep, uh, third period was absolutely fantastic, intense stuff, real entertainment plan, turning a 2-1 deficit into what turned a 5-3 victory. Phenomenal. Plan on top of the league. You had two fantastic games this weekend. What was your take on tonight's performance? I thought the ref's performance was outstanding. <laughs> it's a shame that he dictated who won the game. Uh, I thought both teams played well enough to win the game. Uh, but there's a few calls in the third period that uh, I, don't, I don't really know. So. Again, I think both teams played well enough to win the game, so it could have gone either way, but I thought the refing played a part of it, and it's a shame for everybody at the game. What do you do under those circumstances when you feel the officiating's not going your way? Does that change tactically how you start to line up and how you start to play things? No, I mean, you can't get too, too much. We can go a little bit more aggressive in some areas, but you know, there's nights where we'll get the benefit of the officiating and we'll be on the flip side of the coin. So, you know, it might sound like a little bit like sour grapes right now, but that's kind of the way I saw it. And again, both teams played well enough, and I'm not criticizing their play. Um, they did a lot of things better tonight than they did last night. So, uh, you know, either t it could have gone either way, and I don't think the 5-3 uh, the was, you know, a fair scoreline. Ryan, I think there's only one thing to say. What a game tonight. Yeah, uh, obviously a bit, uh, bit short-staffed here. Uh, but uh, no, we came to play. I think uh, guys, uh, you know, we, I thought we dominated the first period. I thought we were all over them there. Um, you know, then we uh, pretty even second. They, uh, you know, we 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 collapse a bit. We we tied up. We got some good momentum, and then we we break down in the offensive zone and give them a give them a tap in here, um, and going into the, you know into the third. And uh, I was frustrated at that, but the way the guys responded, you know, we were mixing the lines up. We wanted to mix it up. We wanted to mix a power play up and see if we can find something that that was working because you know. Things weren't going for us, you know. We just, we just for whatever luck, we didn't, uh, we didn't have a lot of, uh, you know, we didn't have any bounces. We couldn't, you know, we were snake bitten across the board, and it was good. You know, we knew we needed to shake it up, and eventually it would come. And we put the lines back together towards the end, and, and I thought the guys kind of gelled, and you know, we uh, we we beat a very very good hockey club uh, under strength, under staff tonight. And just finally, take us through uh, the feeling in the dressing room there, coming off the ice. It looked, it looked like everyone was in, shall we say, fine spirits. Yeah, everyone's in uh, good spirits right now. You know, we dropped the last night to them, and and last weekend as well. So it was a big win for everybody. I think confidence-wise, you know, it was big too. So it was good. It's good. Everybody's feeling good right now. So it's it's nice. And a day off tomorrow. You deserved it. Yeah, day off, rest the bodies, get some rest. Yeah, some rest. I get you. Right. <laughs> Cheers, man.